Hi guys! Welcome po sa ating channel Hugot Sip na yan. Ako nga po pala si Sir JV ang inyong mat kahugot at welcome po sa ating channel. So, kung bago lang po kayo sa ating channel, so huwag po kalimutang mag-subscribe at hit ang notification bell para maging updated po kayo sa ating mga video lesson at other educational video na ating gagawin. So, para po sa discussion natin for today guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about system of linear equation. So, ito guys yung madaling paraan para ma-isolve mo o para malaman mo whether ang line ay intersecting, coinciding, or parallel. Dito mo rin guys malalaman kung sila ay consistent, inconsistent, dependent, at saka independent. So, this will be grade 8, second quarter. Let's have our discussion na. Now, we're going to classify the system of linear equation base sa intersecting sila, parallel at saka coinciding. So, ang pinaka the best na paraan para malaman natin na ang system of linear equation ay under ng iba't ibang uri ng lines, ay determine natin yung kanilang slopes. At yun po yung paraan natin. So, this will be our given 1, 2, 3. So, yung first line natin ay pare-pareha, samantala yung second line natin ay iba't iba. Now, malalaman natin guys kung ano ba yung ginagamit kong paraan para isolve yung slope at meron pa ako guys ibang technique na ginagamit para madaling makuha yung nature ng system of linear equation natin kahit hindi natin siya isolve. By observing their construction kung paano sila ginawa, yung kanilang standard form, malalaman na natin kung silang saan sila nabibilang. So, pag sinabi guys si intersecting lines, which is our first example, they do, do not have similar slope or y-intercept. So, they only have one common point. So, one common point lang yun. Do points dumami na, diba? Point lang yun, point lang yun. Now, intersecting lines are example number one. So, we have 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and 4x minus 3y equals to 12. Now, kung isosolve natin siya, guys, may teknika ang winagawa. We identify A, B, C. Kung AX plus BY equals to C ang standard form, automatic Ang A natin para sa first equation ay 2, 3, at 6. Sabi naman ay 4, negative 3, tsaka 12. Now, para malaman natin guys ang slope, we have negative A, negative A over B. Samantalang yung y-intercept natin is C over B. So, para sa hindi mo nagkakaalam, y equals to mx plus B, yung m po ay slope, ang B po ay y-intercept. So, by doing this item guys, hindi mo na kailangan guys mag-writing. Automatic, pwede mo na siyang makuha. So we have negative uh, 2 over 3 at saka 6 over 3. So matalang sa kabila naman ay negative 4 over negative 3 is, is equal to, where B is equal to 12 over negative 3. Isasubstitute lang natin guys yung value ng ABC. So automatic guys, dito, negative 2 over 3 yung ating slope para sa first line at 2 naman sa second line. Samantalang 4 over 3 naman dun sa second line tapos negative 4 naman ko lang y-intercept. Automatic guys, since hindi parehas yung slope nila tsaka y-intercept, ito po ay intersecting lines. Ting line. So, sa slope lang naman guys, ang una mong titingin kapag sila ay kinukonsider mo as intersecting line, coinciding line at tsaka uh, parallel lines. Now, ano yung pinagkaiba ng intersecting lines at saka parallel lines? So, sa parallel lines, they have the same slope but differs in the y-intercept. So, bakit magkaiba ang y-intercept nila? Kasi guys, kapag magkaiba ang y-intercept nila, tas parehas ang slope, automatic magpa-parallel lines yan. So, if our given is 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and the other one is 2x plus 3y equals to 12. Automatic yung first line natin, nasolve na natin kanina yan. So, Let's focus on our next line, which is 2x plus 3y equals to 12. So, automatic guys, ang A natin ay 2, ang B ay 3, ang C ay 12. So, negative A over B ang slope, C over B ang y-intercept. Yung po ay y equals to mx plus B. Kapag guys, nirewriting mo yan, yan din ang gagawin mo. Y, y is equal to negative A over B, x plus C over B. At matik po, yan ang makukuha mo. Okay, and we're going to have 
M equals to negative 2 over 3. Tapos, so 12 over 2 yung ating B. In short, we have the slope of negative 2 over 3 and B equals to 4. So, kisa nyo guys, pareha sa kanilang slope pero magkaiba ang Y-intercept. Automatic parallel lines yan. Now, para mapakita sa inyo guys yung difference ng dalawa, igagrap po natin yan. Pagkatapos ang ating third item. So, intersecting lines, magkaiba ang slope, magkaiba ang Y-intercept. Parallel lines, parehas ang slope, magkaiba ang Y-intercept. Now, kapag parehas ang slope at parehas ang Y-intercept, they're basically identical lines. Doon papasok guys yung coinciding. Yan ay pinagpatong na lines. Ko pinagpatong, kaya dapat po alam nyo yan. Now, we have the first item, 2x plus 3y equals to 6. Nasalab na natin yan. 4x plus 6y equals to 12. Now, solving those items, we have A, B, C, we have 4, 6, and 12 identically. So, same pattern guys, negative A over B sa ating slope, C over B para sa ating y-intercept. Kung kayo po ay na, nahihirapan uh, isolve to using rewriting, ito na ang gawin nyo guys, napakadali nyo. Kasi slope lang naman at saka y-intercept ang hihanapin mo dito. We have negative 4 over 6 para sa slope natin, ayong 12 over 6 para sa ating y-intercept. So, solving them, we have negative 2 over 3, tapos B natin ay 2. So, automatic guys, parehas ang slope, parehas po ang y-intercept. At ito guys, ay sinasabing coinciding line. So, yung magkapatong na linya. Now, baan ko guys nasabi sa inyo na hindi mo kailangan isolve yung slope at saka y-intercept para malaman mo whether they are intersecting, coinciding, at parallel. Meron po akong technique na i-share sa inyo. At ito po ay madaling paraan. ba? Now, ang given natin guys ay 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and 4x minus 3y equals to 12. So, kung ginarap natin yan, ito po maging itsura niya. Okay? Yung first item natin, yung second item naman natin guys, ito. Parallel. Yung, samantaling yung third pair natin ay ganito. So, automatic guys, kung mapapasin, recall natin, intersecting, parallel, coinciding. So, pag slope ng intersecting, dalawang line magkaiba. Y-intercept magkaiba. Pwede magparehas yung Y-intercept, pero dapat ang slope hindi. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung point of intersection nila, yung Y-intercept. Pag parallel lines, parehas ang slope, magkaiba naman ang Y-intercept. Okay? Kapag naman coinciding, parehas ang slope, parehas ang Y-intercept. At iyon ay tandaan ninyo. Okay? Now, let's... Continue with our discussion. Now, ang sabi ko sa inyo guys, hindi mo kailangan hirapan ang sarili mo. Pwede mo tong huwag nang isolve. Yung nga po yung sabon, ito po yung tinanong sa akin ng isa kong followers sa YouTube. Ito guys yung pwede nyo gawin para hindi kayo kailangan nyo mag-solve. So, alam naman natin guys na yung slope nung una at pangalawa ay ito. Pansin niyo. Now, ang take note nyo guys, ang titignan nyo dito, yung ABC niya. Yung ABC, walang parehas. 2 at 4, walang parehas. 3 at negative 3, hindi parehas. 6 at 12, hindi parehas. Automatic guys, kapag hindi pare-parehas yan, intersecting lines yan. So, yun po yung possibility, intersecting lines siya. So, this will not be applied sa lahat guys, pero malaki yung posibilidad. Na pag yung A, B at C, hindi pare-parehas sa isa, automatic intersecting line. Now, Let's take note with our number 2. Sa number 2 natin, ang parehas kasi yung slope. Yung y-intercept hindi. Yung A at B parehas ng item. Kapag parehas ng item guys, yung inyong A at B, automatic parallel yan. Okay? Ay sir, paano po pag parang hindi siya parehas, Tapos, so ay nagkataong pag sinol mo yung slope, pareha siya. Kasi guys, kailangan mong i-lowest term yung ating equation. At dito guys, papasok yung number 3. O, pansin ninyo, bakit sa ABC, 2 at 3 at 6 yung pangalawa? Eh, hindi, eh, 4, 4, 6 at 12 naman siya. Ang ginawa natin guys dyan, kapag dinivide mo yung whole equation by 2, may isang 2, 3, 6. So, 4x divided by 2 is 2, 6x divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 2 is 6. At yun guys ang magpo-prove 
na lahat sila ay equal. Automatic, there are coin siding. So guys, andahan nyo ha. Pag si A at si B ay parehas, automatic baka paging paril yan. Kapag si A, B at C, after mong isolve or simplify, ay parehas coinciding yan. Same with parel. Kapag after mo siyang isolve o simplify, at yung A at B lang yung parehas, parel yan. Intersecting, may chance sa na may parehas na isa. Isa lang nga guys ha, pero yung iba hindi. Okay? And that's how we try to have intersecting parallel and coinciding without solving them. And guys, this is our discussion about this item. If you learn something from our discussion, you may be able to answer the following item here. I'm going to give you 5 minutes only to solve those items sa inyong screen. Good luck guys! You may get your ball pen and pencil kung ano man pwede nyo gamitin and try to solve this item. So, 5 minutes start now.
Okay guys, time's up. Let's try to check your work. So para sa first item natin guys, ito ay po ay coinciding. Siya po ay divisible ng 2. Ang next item natin guys ay intersecting. Wala naman pare-parehas dyan. At sa ating third item ay parallel. After mo siyang isolve. Kasi pag dinivide mo yung 10x at saka 6y sa 2, may higit siyang 5x at saka 3y. At ganun guys, isolve yung item na ito. And I hope guys you learned something from our discussion. This will be Sir GV from Mugutsip9. So don't forget to like, follow, and share our video kung may natutunan kayo sa ating video for today. Nga pala guys, if you want uh, other stories about how I project myself as a traveler, you may follow my other channel, Behind Your Life TV. Search, just search it on the YouTube. And I'm going to put the links sa video ito para makita nyo po. So, nandun rin po sa... Nandun, do, nandun rin po siya guys sa ating sponsored na channel. So, God bless po. Ingat guys. And I hope you learned something. Ito po yung technique natin for this item. Salamat po and God bless.